Wow, I'm so glad you're here. I just found out that one of my best friends was in an abusive relationship for so long. And none of us knew anything about it. I'm heartbroken. I thought we told each other everything. Maybe if I'd spoken up, she would have talked to me about it sooner. So, here goes. Intimate partner violence, sometimes called teen dating violence or domestic violence, is a pattern of behaviours used by one partner to maintain power and control over another partner in an intimate relationship. These are forms of gender-based violence. An intimate partner is a person's boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, partner or lover. Intimate partner violence may include different kinds of abuse. Physical abuse may include hitting, kicking, punching or other kinds of physical violence. Emotional abuse may not include physical violence, but it can be equally as harmful. When someone is abused emotionally, they may be called names, humiliated, yelled at or made to feel intimidated. The abuser may try to control the other person by telling them what to do, what to wear, where they can and cannot go or display other jealous behaviour. Financial abuse is when a person tries to control and limit their partner's access to money so that the partner will be dependent on them. One example would be if the person discouraged or disallowed the partner to work and make their own money. Another is the person taking the partner's money or bank or credit cards and refusing to give them back. Another form of abuse is known as stalking and harassment. Stalking or harassing someone may include spying on them or following them around and constantly showing up where they are or refusing to leave when asked. Stalking also can include sending harassing or unwanted emails, texts or posts, also known as cyberbullying. Finally, there's partner abuse that involves sexual abuse. This type of violence is when a person forces their partner to participate in sexual acts or behaviours without their consent or ignores the partner's sexual boundaries. Just because a person is in an intimate relationship with someone doesn't mean that he or she must have sex with them or do sexual things that they find uncomfortable or demeaning, even if they have had sexual relations with that person in the past. If you or someone you know is being abused in a relationship, it's important to know that it is never the fault of the abused person and it's important to ask for help. To get help, you can talk to the school counsellor, a social worker or another trusted adult. A great resource if you need information, support or advice is a domestic violence helpline. You can check out their website at www.tears.co.za. Ask around to find where you can get help for gender-based violence in your local area. Remember, domestic violence is not love. Someone who really loves you wouldn't try to physically harm you, control you, make you feel bad about yourself or force you into doing something you don't want to do. A loving and healthy relationship is about consent, respect, and honoring who you are as an individual. Till next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org.za or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye!